right. Welcome everybody to Poland Daily Travel. You are looking at Hoynik Castle, perched high in the mountain, 627 meters above sea level. I know you want to know that important fact. And situated on a perilous cliff above Hell's Valley. That's right. This is Hell's Valley. And those sheep must be the devil's sheep. Although they just look like, you know, lambs to me. Sweet little fellows. Probably never did anybody any harm. But I'll tell you who did. There's a famous story, famous legend about this castle. I hope you don't mind me telling it to you now. In fact, it was such a famous, it's such a famous legend that it was made into a story by one Frederick Schiller, the German writer, and translated by one Adam Mickiewicz. He translated Schiller's story, the Polish poet. And you'll be very familiar with, if you've ever read anything about Poland, studied any Polish literature or history, or you've ever been to any city in Poland, because they all have an Adam Mickiewicz street. That's right. Now, what's the story? Well, the story goes like this. Long, long time ago. <laughs> That's a good way to start a story. A long, 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 long time ago, long, very long ago, there was a princess who lived in that castle. Her name was Brunhilde, of course. I think she may be the same one that Wagner modeled uh, Ride of the Valkyries on. Brunhilde lived up there in that castle. And she was very beautiful, apparently, but she was a woman with a, with a mean disposition. As she was she was as demanding as she was beautiful. And she had a rule that any knight who would get her fair hand, yeah, which sounds like it's probably just, just fair. Anyway, uh, not fair means a beautiful hand. She got a beautiful hand. He would have to ride around the castle on his horse, all the way around, of course. There was a perilous 150 meter long drop there. Punctuation, waiting for the car to come by. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. You're going there. Oh. <laughs> He's backing up. Back to Brunhilde. This guy lives here with a view. He's a lucky man. She's told any night who came there, that he'd have, a, he'd have to ride all the way around the castle. And of course, there is a perilous cliff. So this was not a very easy lady to please. She was basically asking the knights to do the impossible. And after many had tried and failed and fallen down that their cliff into Hell's Valley, it must have been a horrible fate all because they thought they could win the hand of this lady. They thought they were, you know, good enough horsemen, brave enough men uh, to circumnavigate that castle. Suddenly enough man, after all those failures appeared, and Brunhilde was immediately taken with this particular man. He was like a Lancelot. He was a beautiful fella. He was a good looking man. And, uh, and she said, holy goodness, I don't know if I want him to ride around the castle. What if something happens to him? Because she's yeah, very affected. I mean, this guy looked like uh, Laurence Olivier and uh, maybe Steve McQueen and, and uh, maybe Paul Newman and maybe Gary Cooper rolled into one. I mean, this guy was amazing. But he was a knight in the old days. So he had the armor and all this stuff. And he said, uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to ride around the castle. I'm going to show you that I can do it. So he did. He started out on the perilous journey. And he just made it by dismounting his horse and walking with the horse behind him very precariously, right on the edge, around that steep 150-meter drop. And he made it back to the castle, despite her protests of stopping him, uh, he actually did it. And then she said, oh, you are my hero. You didn't have to do that. I wanted you anyway. And he said, uh, you know what? I think I changed my mind. You're a little too demanding for me. 
In fact, too many people have died trying to please your very whim. And though you are beautiful on the outside, you're extremely evil on the inside. So I think I will say goodbye. And with that, he doffed his baseball cap. He didn't have a baseball cap. He had a visor and a thing, and you know, I took off his helmet. And he said, goodbye, Brunhilde, and he took off. And that is a true story about that castle, Hoynick Castle. Now, you'll also notice that because of its precarious position up there on that hill, that may be one reason why the family who owned it moved to Chaplitza, to Warm Springs, and lived there instead in beauty in the beautiful surroundings by the river and build a lovely palace with a view of the mountains rather than being on top of the mountains. And not only that, think of the kind of medieval paranoia it took to want to build your castle up there. We're not walking up there. It takes at least an hour. School kids go up there. We could hear them laughing just in the wood over there uh, before we started filming. Uh, but not for us. We have other things to do. But when you come here, you can walk up there and you might, you just might catch a slight whisper of the very presumptuous, impossible to please, Brunhilde. See you on the next episode.